More. Holy bright. Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. We've got another fun experiment using glow sticks today and it involves combining the glow stick fluid with this decorative fountain. It might not be too hard to guess, but we're gonna see if we can extract enough glow fluid to put it into this fountain and actually have it cycle with glowing blue liquid. So we have a whole ton of these glow sticks. We're gonna crack them open, separate the two fluids within, and then we'll put those into the fountain. I'm gonna try and separate it. So one of them is in the base and the other one is in the little dishes up above so that as the fountain starts running, it starts activating the glow. Hopefully we can get that to work. I think it will look really cool if it does. We've got a bunch of rocks right here and these are actually what I'm going to put down in the base of this fountain. This base is actually what holds normally water, in our case, glow fluid, but it's pretty big and empty and that would use up a lot of glow sticks. And we already have a ton, but I wanted to cut down on the number that we would need. So I'm gonna use these rocks to sort of fill the empty spaces of this base. So there's still enough fluid to cycle, but not so much that we're just wasting glow sticks. I also have these little rocks in a bag. Those are going to be a decorative element on top. They'll get scattered all around the base and I'm hoping it will help the fluid diffuse and the glow will like flow in between the rocks and make it look even cooler. Let's give it a shot. Let's start cutting open a whole bunch of glow sticks, load our rocks into our fountain, pour our glow fluid into the fountain, and hopefully get a bright cascading glowing effect as we run the fluid through this fountain. This should look really sweet. All right, that looks like it still goes on, still in place. Our pump is still down inside the fountain, but we've displaced a lot of the volume, so we shouldn't need quite as much glow fluid. However, I still believe it's going to take three or four cups of liquid to make this fountain be able to run. Now we get to cut these all open, drain the fluid, and hopefully have enough to get our fountain working. Now we've seen the reaction when we crack one of these glow sticks, but what exactly is going on inside? There are four main chemicals that help create this reaction. Over 90% of what's inside the glow sticks is a chemical called dimethyl phthalate. The dimethyl phthalate is mostly a stabilizer that's used to help keep the other chemicals from going bad while sitting around in the glow stick. The two primary chemicals that are reacting with each other to create the glowing effect are hydrogen peroxide and tert butyl alcohol. The glow sticks will also contain a fluorescent dye, and there are a variety of chemicals that can be used depending on what color is desired. We have now harvested the fluid out of about 50 glow sticks. And that's what these four cupfuls of liquid are. And now we have to get the fluid out of these glass pieces as well. We'll put those in a separate container so that they won't combine until they are running in the fountain. And these are glass, which I have to break to get the fluid out. So I'm trying to cover them, crack them over the trash can so we don't have little bits of glass that go everywhere. That one exploded. Most of them pop open. That one exploded open. At this point, we've got four clear plastic cupfuls of one fluid and about one and a half of these squeeze bottles of the inside fluid. This should be the stuff that adds the dye, and this is the activator. We can see the color showing up in the dye if we hit it with a black light, which it doesn't really do much to the activator. At this point, it's time to take our activator fluid and put it into the base of the fountain and see if it looks like we're going to have enough to run this sucker. Here it goes. We are just there. Once we add the colored dye into the top bowls, I think we shouldn't have any problems with this. Here it goes. All right, now let's add some pebbles down around the base. And this fountain actually doesn't drain out of this bottom bowl. The bottom bowl is plugged up by what's actually an LED and will be adding a little bit of additional light, not that we should probably need it, but it should spill up and over the edge and sort of around these pebbles, which is why I'm hoping they'll make it look extra good. There is a chance that because of the different ratio I've got going with 
tons of activator and only a little bit of dye. It's not gonna be super bright at first, but as soon as it starts moving, I'll probably add a little bit more of the dye fluid into the fountain so that all gets going in circulation. Hopefully it'll work pretty well. This is an experiment, I haven't done this before. Here we go, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that looks super good. That looks amazing. Oh, that is fantastic. That is such good color in there. It's glowing. This is looking really sweet. Just to see what happens, let's take some magenta colored dye and pour that into the top. Change it a little bit. We have a little bit of a purple fluid flowing down now. It's not extreme, but it was only one magenta compared to like 50 blue. That's pretty neat. There is one more thing that I do wanna try. We've seen what happens if we mix a little bit of dish soap in with our glow fluid and the result is that it starts glowing a lot more brightly, just not for very long. So I'm going to try adding some into here and see what happens. It might not mix very well until it gets down and pulled into the pump a little bit, but hopefully we can get a fountain that starts glowing a lot brighter. It's definitely brighter down here than it was up there. Oh, I think it's now getting pulled through. Looks to me like we're getting more brightness out of this thing. I don't have a good sense of how much to add, really. This is a lot more fluid than just from one glow stick, but if you add too much, it will kill it. A little bit of a gamble here. But I definitely think we saw an increase in the brightness. Got a little whirlpool where a small spot of bubbles is just circling in one spot. That's kind of funny. If that doesn't look like a health potion from a video game, I don't know what does. Maybe that just means this is like a fountain of youth. I'm gonna add more soap, see if we can actually just kill it with all the soap. Seems to be able to handle a fair bit of soap. It's not dying. Maybe it is. That does look a little dimmer. I think it's gone down. It moves really smoothly. I think part of the point of these fountains with water is that you get the nice trickling noises. But because this fluid is more oily and viscous, it doesn't really make trickling sounds. You can hear the pump running. You can hear the pump running a lot right now, which means I might have made the pump angry by filling it with thick things like oily glow fluid and soap. And we now have some bubbles starting to form at the top here, and our pump is barely trickling. So I'm gonna say I've made our pump angry and unplug it now. The glow fountain works entertainingly well. We got some really cool bright colors that looked like something straight out of the movie Avatar, I think. I really liked the look. And then of course adding soap, it did get a lot brighter. And then I kept adding soap, and now as you can see, there's like nothing left. It's just drained out completely. It's very entertaining to watch the dynamic between the soap and the glow fluid. We wanna hear your ideas for what else we should do with this glow fluid because it looks really cool. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you aren't a subscriber yet, just hit the bomb to get in the club. If you missed our last video or wanna check it out again, click up here at the top. Click down there if you wanna see what the internet thinks that you should be watching next. That's it for now. Have fun, be safe, and see you tomorrow.